Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show, I'm your host Paul, and my spoiler sense is tingling with these brand new Spider-Man No Way Home leaks. The movie is just over a month away now, and there were some big images posted online the other day by John Campier that seemed to confirm some of the major leaks on the movie. We've already done a full breakdown on them in which we look closely at Tobey Maguire's dick, and that will be linked above right now if you want to swing over there and see what the images are. Everyone's talking about them, and even YouTube, yes, the actual YouTube account for YouTube posted on my video saying juicy, so you just know the world wants to know what's in this movie. Cambia ended up trending, and even though he deleted the tweets, he can't put the toothpaste back in the tube on this stuff, and the world is gonna remember even if he goes to Doctor Strange. Since then, Campier has talked about them on a live stream, and in this video, we're gonna be breaking down what he said, and also why it actually confirms the images were real. The whole thing was about 20 minutes long, and it covered how he got the images, why he thought it was cool to post them, and also what a certain studio that starts with the letter S said. We're going to be getting into it in this video, but if you think they're real, then please hit the thumbs up button, and if you don't, then click down, but I think after we go through it, you'll see that one of them is likely legitimate. Now, I won't be showing them in this video, as I've already put them in one, and if Sony decide to strike that and then this one, then my channel is going to go about as well as Eddie Brock's career. I can say though that there are two images, the first of which is Tom Holland, Tobey Maguire, and Andrew Garfield in their Spider-Man costumes standing on some scaffolding. Several elements of this line up with other leaks such as the scaffolding floor and that video of Andrew grabbing onto a railing. John said when he got them he thought they were fake so decided to post them and he actually watermarked the images so it was pretty clear that they came from him. He also gave the most hilarious leak breakdown comment I've ever heard and this will go down in history. And I can't believe I'm about to say this. I never thought I would say this in my entire online career. But look closely at Tobey Maguire's dick. I never thought I would say that ever in my life, but here we are. If you go and look at the picture, look closely at Tobey Maguire's balls. Now, the other picture John posted had Peter, May, Happy, and Matt Murdock all sitting around a table in May's apartment. This seemed to be a scene that we've heard about in interviews in which they all sit about discussing what it means to be a hero. Now, I really don't know if I believe whether John thought they were fake or not, as I don't know why you would post something that looked like it could be real other than to get an exclusive scoop. John said he had nothing to gain from it, but then was also saying that he'd gained 1,000 new followers and that he watermarked them because the last fake photo he posted got 12,000 retweets and a lot of attention. However, let's give him the benefit of the doubt and say that he just posted them out without thinking in the hopes of people discussing how good of a Photoshop they were. Now, what's interesting is that in the interview, John says that Sony contacted him and asked him to tell them who sent the images. I've leaked things in the past, and the only time that a studio have ever got into contact with me was when stuff turned out to be real. What I have done, though, is that I've kept my mouth shut about it until the actual thing released, and then said, yeah, the studio contacted me, which is why I haven't really addressed it again. I think it's kind of stupid for John to admit that people from PR have been getting in touch with him, as that would only ever happen if something was a legitimate leak. There's thousands and thousands of photoshopped images released online every single day and the studio wouldn't bother paying someone to follow up on each of these and ask exactly why someone has made a picture of the Spider-Man actors standing together. John said he didn't tell them who his source was and I can definitely say that it isn't my uncle who works in the Sony store in Eldon Square in Newcastle. Now by launching somewhat of an investigation into where the leaks came from, you already know that at least one of them has to be real. Now it is possible that the other is fake, and one just happened to get bundled in with some Photoshop stuff. John said that the studio rep wouldn't confirm if things were real or not, and I do believe that. Don Campier seems like a bit of a wild card, as do all YouTubers, so I think the best thing they could really do is just keep things as ambiguous as possible. Now personally, I don't think that Don Campier played things as well as he should have, and if it was me, I would have just not addressed it and hoped that the entire thing just blew over. Don Giovanni Campier has kind of doubled down, and he said that he didn't even post all of the pictures that he got. I got sent these pictures, I thought they were fake, I slapped my watermark on it because I wanted credit for sharing them, put them up, as soon as I heard that they were, they could be real, I deleted them immediately, and I didn't even share all the pictures. I didn't even share all the pictures. Um, should I give you a little tease into what was one of the other pictures that you'd never be able to deduce what the actual image is? Um, I'll give you a little tease. going to give you a tease only because you'll never actually guess or deduce what the actual picture is, but it involves somebody in a mocap suit. 
So yeah, I don't know, it's just kind of a weird way to go about it. And the don of spoilers didn't even seem that bothered by the issues that it could cause with the studio. You've got Chad Campier out here saying he posted them and has more. And then you've got the Virgin Kevin spoilers being like, well, I can describe the images to you, but I don't want a copyright strike. Either way, this is a really bad thing to happen. And I can imagine the studio is trying to find out what the other images are where they came from and how many people have seen them. Spider-Man No Way Home trends just about every single day on Twitter and it's probably gonna be the biggest movie this side of the pandemic. I know a lot of people think Sony have done really bad marketing for the movie, but when you're constantly going viral off doing very little, it actually seems like it might be the best marketing strategy from a business point of view. There's just so much hype around the movie and it might actually be the first one to cross the billion mark. So it's clear that the studio will wanna know what else is out there. If someone has sent something to Don or Giovanni, who doesn't even spoil stuff, then you can imagine they probably sent them to more people, and it'll no doubt be a worry that more things will get out into the open. Now, I really don't think that Corleone Campia should have said he has more images, as there will no doubt be people hitting him up right now, asking what they are. Even just the mention of there being a mocap suit has sent people into a wild frenzy, and I've had so many people message me asking if I know who it is. If I was speculating, I think the most likely thing would be that it's Tom Hardy playing Venom in the movie, but there could be a number of things. Perhaps John doesn't know Lizard is in the movie and he saw that, or Thomas Hayden Church, and so on and so forth. I've even talked with people about how it could be Aunt May or Happy in an Iron Man costume, and rather than quashing the leaks, Campier has kind of added fuel to the fire. He does say in the video that some leakers and scoopers would probably step over their mother to get their leaks, which I don't actually agree with, as I stepped over mine to get them endgame leaks, and she's not spoken to me since. Now off the back of this, I actually got sent some leaked images of the movie, and I'm going to show them on screen in just a bit. I have watermarked them as well, but obviously I don't want credit and I've got nothing to gain. Drum roll, please. Now if the studio get in touch, it's going to be pretty clear that they're real, as that's something that only happens when a big leak like this gets out and they want to carry out an investigation to see where it came from. Grace Randolph covered the topic as well, and she pretty much said the golden rule is that you don't post the photo, and that's something I agree with as well. In my vids, I always tend to downplay as much as I actually know, as the way that leaks work is, is that if you know something for definite, then you are breaking the law by leaking it, Whereas if you say it may or may not be true, it's covered by fair use. It's a really weird situation, but I think the best comparison I can make is say Julian Assange said the moon was made out of cheese. That would be a big conspiracy theory blown wide open and he would get in a lot of trouble for it. However, if I just reported that Julian Assange has said the moon is made out of cheese, I'd be okay because I didn't actually leak it and I'm just reporting on the leak instead of being the person pushing it to the public. So yeah, I don't know what Sony are going to do in all honesty. They've kind of been a bit light on blocking videos and the Andrew Garfield clip is all over YouTube which I really wouldn't expect. In the past, I got a video block from Warner Brothers for just talking about the theater-only Tenet trailer, whereas these guys are letting entire clips and trailers be released online. I think them reaching out to Campia confirms that at least one image is legit though, but let me know below exactly what you think. As a thank you, you'll be entered into a competition on the 30th of November, in which we're giving away three copies of the Zack Snyder DC trilogy. All you have to do to be on the chance of winning is like the video, make sure you subscribe with notifications on, and drop a comment below with your thoughts on the video. We pick the comments at random at the end of the month, and the winners of the last one are on screen right now, so if that's you, then message me on Twitter at Heavy Spoilers. If you want something else to watch, then make sure you check out our breakdown of the original images, which will be linked on screen right now. If you still haven't seen them and want to know what they are, then definitely go head over there after this, as it is quite an interesting leak. If not, then thanks for sitting through the video. I've been Paul, and you take care of yourself. Peace.